Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. First, go hit subscribe. Then hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified when I drop my next video. And welcome to the Lips family. For those of you that this is your first time visiting the channel, Lips, L-L-I-P-S, stands for Living Life in Positive Serenity. And how do we show our family support? We thumbs this video up, bruh. And anything less than that, you are lying to me. And I know you lying. Period. Okay, y'all. We're going to try to get through this as quick as I can. This may end up being a more than one video series. Um, but I do have good news. I have chosen a name for you all. In this particular world, everybody that has a channel, they name the people, um, their followers, that let them come into their homes every day. And I had spoke to you all in the first video about I was thinking about naming you all assassins and things like that. Well, I have picked your name and we're going to talk about a few things and I'll make you understand why. Okay, first of all, your name Da -da -da -da. Drum roll. Your name is Legion. You're Legion. So, from now on, you guys are going to be known as Lips Legions. And I chose that because I'm going to let you know why. I'm going to give you a little story time. But I chose it. Because legion means many. Uh, I think it originally came from a Roman army or something like that. That mean, I mean, that were like 3,000 to 6,000 men. That meant we are many. I chose that for you all. It came to me in an epiphany. And the reason why I'm on here letting you know. As you see, there's no food. So, um, you're going to be legion because... LIP stands for living life in positive serenity. That means living your life in a positive calm that you no longer want to allow negativity to control your life. You don't want to be used by the devil daily. I also want to say, I want to make sure that you all know that in the first video, I told you I would respect me and I would respect you. So I do want you all to know that on this channel, I would never do or say things um, that would be influential to anyone's children or say the wrong things, cursing and stuff like that. That's not going to happen on this channel. But anyway, back to the point. Um, I want to call you all Legion because I truly, truly believe that in this life, there are many that want to live life in a positive serenity, in a positive way. I'm trying to get this right, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, so that's why you all are being called Legion. Now, how this came to me. This particular weekend, something happened to me. First of all, let me go back. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to be a little scatterbrained because I'm trying to get a lot in. At one particular point in time in my life, um, anybody that believes in God and is a Christian, however you want to say it, um, you know that there are prophets here on the earth. Um, it's just, it was promised that it would be here to us and they are here. Um, at one point in time, a prophet spoke kingdom work over my life. I think I finally understand what um, how I am supposed to fulfill that prophecy and the, the incidences and the circumstances that led me to get to it, to get to this point. Because a YouTube channel, it is basically me asking you to allow me to come into your home, um, your phone or your life period for 20, 30 minutes a day and spread or give you me 
Now, the show um, is, I am on a mukbang platform, entertainment, however you want to say. Um, but the reason is to, in that kingdom work that I think that was spoke over my life, is that, you know, anyway, let me get back on task. I'm sorry. This weekend, in a very, very different type of situation that had nothing to do with me, really and truthfully, the person that done it, they don't even know me, okay? Um, they've heard of me, they've seen me, but they do not know me. We've never even had a conversation. But because of my lifestyle, I was judged this weekend, and I went to church, um... Uh, this uh, this morning, this right now, it's, um, I don't know, two or three o'clock in the morning, Monday morning. Um, you guys won't see this until tomorrow afternoon around five, but that's what time it is now. Um, but anyway, I went to church and the sermon that was spoke over me today, I told you guys earlier to, uh, yesterday that it was about gentleness and meekness. Anyway, so I'll, it spoke right into basically putting my heart in a place of forgiveness for what had been done to me solely just because that I am who I am. Okay. So basically what I want you to know is I am asking you to allow me to come into your home, into your situation, situations or whatever's going on to like I said, not to influence anyone, only to educate you to understand that this particular lifestyle is not easy. And I live out loud because people often choose the Bible to try to strike it. Um, people in my situation um, uh, that live my lifestyle, uh, I'm not saying um the words of what the lifestyle is because you have children. And like I said, this is not about influence. This is about education. Um, okay. People often try to use the Bible to strike down or to belittle people um, in my walk of life. OK, but what I do want people to understand is God is here for all of us. He's here for all of us. Not just the ones who think they're right or they believe that they're right. No one here has the keys to heaven. No one does. And no one here that's still living on this side knows exactly what it takes to get into heaven. No one knows because once you're gone, you can't come back to witness in a flesh form to tell us what's going on. So I want to be able to educate you so that you're not walking around day to day feeling like that you have it right, but you have a certain prejudice against, excuse me, um, against a, certain group of people simply because they don't live like you do. Okay. You all life should be celebrated. It should be celebrated. It really, really, it really, really should. And the thing of it is, is if I can show you or educate you on that people of my lifestyle, we live every day just like you do. And we live every day with the same struggles, the same, um, you know, financial things, the same car trouble, the same things that, that you do. The only thing about it is that a large majority of us have to live it, um, so to speak, in shame. Uh, because they're afraid of what you might say about them. 
I just think that it's a part of my duty or what I'm asking you to do when I ask you to, to subscribe and share the channel, and share the channel, and share the channel, and that type of thing is to allow me the opportunity to try to reach as many people as I can so that as many people, because we don't know this one thing could be exactly what it is that may keep the doors locked for a lot of people. But I would do my best to try to educate as many people as I can to make them understand that God is here for everyone. He's here for all of us. This is really what this platform is about for me. Um, and it may be too early. It may have been too early for me to spring this on you. However, I have to go with my heart and I have to go with what I feel like I'm being told to do. So I truly, truly feel like that, like I said, I want to educate enough people so that you won't be walking around, you know, with a prejudice against people simply because they are who they are. Everyone has the right to be happy. Everyone has the right to succeed. Everyone has the right to live out loud and be proud of whom they are. I mean, everyone has that right. And with that being said, the more and more that I can educate you, the more and more that I can try to give you a little insight about things, maybe it could cause a change just in whatever group of people that we collect. Um, because, listen, you guys, in understanding about life, the only thing that stops you from being a different person tomorrow is for you not to start being a different person today. If you start being a different person today, that's the only thing that stops you from being a different person tomorrow. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all, that's all that it takes. Now I'm gonna to explain to you, um, there is a saying that I always say at the end of our um, share times of, me, of our, the time that we spend together and that is there's always more than one way home. All you set out to do is get there. That saying to me, the reason why it was important for me to put into my message every day and to pin on my messages um, you know, on social media things like that is because look when you set out in life to do something, to accomplish something, um, or, or to make goals of where it is that you want to go or what it's destined to do. The speaker today at church uh, said something. I told you all of this that happened played into just right for me to choose your name. Um, but he spoke into something today about if you're still here, it's because God still has a purpose for you. If you're still here, he still has a purpose for you here. So, when you set out to do things in life, no matter what it is, there are going to be obstacles that are going to come up. The devil is busy and he never, ever, ever sleeps. He never reneges on his job. He's always in attendance. He's always on time. <laughs> he is. Trust me. Being grown, Mr. Dubill and Mr. Nemo, they seem to come by and knock <laughs> quite often. And those of you that are like me, that, um, you know, you handle your own business. You're responsible for yourself because you're grown and you don't look for handouts in life and you try your best to be a productive citizen of society. Mr. Needmore and Mr. Dubill is going to, they going to knock. So. I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I did. Oh, I was talking about more than one way home. That's what it was. Okay. Obstacles are going to come up, y'all. 
And you may not be able to get home the way that you set out to get there. But as long as you get there, you may have to take a few roads that were a different way. You may have to break down some walls in another way. It may have been a thousand things that you had to do. A thousand things that happened that, that caused you to detour from what it is that, that, that you knew was the easiest way home. But what I can tell you is, as long as you get there, you've done what you set out to do. You already have. But the thing about it is, when you have to take the more difficult um, road away, you tend to learn something along the way that'll help you in a future venture. Or in a, you know, my mama always told me, in your 20s, you're expected to make mistakes. In your 30s, it's okay to make some mistakes. Just don't repeat the ones that you made in your 20s. But if you hadn't learned any sense by the time you're 40, you lost. That's what she said. So don't worry about the obstacles, you all. Just keep going forward. Keep going forward. So all you have to do is keep going forward. So, I just want to say I thank you. I appreciate all of you all, everyone that has liked my videos, that have shared my videos, that have let me come into your home, your hearts, your day. I want to say thank you. I love you so much for that. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I'm taking off tomorrow. You you guys will get this tomorrow. Well, it's today now, but I won't be filming on Tuesday. I'll be back Wednesday. So you guys have two days to make the Legion bigger, to talk to people about it. Now that you know what my message is, what I'm really here for, what I'm really, really, really here for, I'm asking you to help me make the Legion bigger so that I can spread the word, you all. Now, I am on a mukbang platform, so now there will be food. That's going to be that, because that's the platform I chose, because I like to eat. <laughs> but, you all, from the bottom of my heart, I'm really, really here to try to do kingdom work that was spoke over my life. And I think this is the way that I'm supposed to do it. I truly believe that, you all. I'm asking you all to help me to try to just simply make people understand that there is nothing in the world different about this particular class of people than there are about this people, this particular class of people. As an African-American man, I want to give you a similarity of the way that my particular class or a lifestyle of people are treated or are looked at in this way. The reason why this is so important to me. I want you to think about and ask yourself all of the years, 300 or however many, so they say it is or whatever, um, that we were brought here and we were enslaved as a people. It is the same exact thing. Because it was something that was done to our people unwillingly to us, but we fought our way out of it. This is kind of my way of making or trying to educate people that it's the same thing to hold a certain group of people down from the churches or from the love of people and things like that simply be, uh, and it's not willingly by the person. It's just simply because you chose that you were going to collect us in a boat or the same way they did when they brought us from Africa, our ancestors, you collectively put us in a, one giant ship as a people, as a whole, and against our will, and you take away, or you try to take away our rights as people. You guys, that's not right. I made it and explain it 
as well as I needed to, but I think that you get the picture. You understand what I'm trying to say. So I just really, 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 really want you all to know that that's really what this platform is going to be about. Sure, I'm going to eat and stuff like that, but that's what it's about. So you got to share, share, share. I love you. I'll see you. I'm going to take tomorrow, but I'll see you in another day. I'll see you back um, Wednesday. I love you. And in closing, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lips family, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Do all three. Do all three of them. All three. All of them help the channel. And anything less than that, you are lying to me. And I know you lying. Period. See you all Wednesday. Thank you.